be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up and comment on the video if you like the content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So today is a real simple tip. I just wanted to show you what you could do to literally make your 808s or even like your sub sounds or bass sound a whole lot more fuller and more rumblier and you know, mm, just add that extra bit of solidness that you need. I'm gonna play this beat, this, this, this is a super snippet of this beat, and then I'm gonna show you what you could put on your 808s to make it sound hard, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and play it now. All right, so that's a snippet of the beat. As you can hear, the 808 sounded cool, but what we could do to make it sound a little bit more fuller and give it that rumble is do a simple plugin called R Bass. So basically, I added this plugin in and then I just pushed the frequency down to around 60. And now let's listen to it. I also put this um, EQ on it, took all a little bit of the highs out, just a little bit. Now let's listen to it. So, I mean, as you can hear, the 808 sounds a whole lot better and it just, just punched through the mix a whole lot more and just, just the presence of that 808 is way more in there. Um, some other things you could do to 808s, you know, and this is not always, i found what you should do every single time. You always wanna be listening to the sound of that instrument and see if it needs it, but you can also put a distortion on the 808 and it will also give it a little bit more rumble but i'm telling y'all man this r bass plugin is by waves you gotta get this joint it's a pretty dope plugin it's called renaissance bass r bass for short all right make sure y'all do that make sure you're also subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one